Splash Africa welcomes you to the Tourism Reception Center at Lipe Todome, where we'll be taking you through the ancestral caves. So stay with us as we take you through Lipe Todome. Today, Splash Africa takes you to Lipe Todome in the Volta region. Lipe Todome is a town in the Hohe municipality of the Volta region, which is 32 minutes drive from the district capital of Hohe. Okay, so at this moment, we are on our way to the caves. And behind me, you can see that the journey isn't easy. As uh, our fellow colleagues have taken the lead, and we'll be joining them um, as well. So stay with us as we tour uh, the ancestral caves at Todome in the Volta region. According to history, the people of Ligbe once lived in caves before developing their present area 45 minutes walk from the cave. Okay, so we've gotten to uh, the summer hut which is on top of the mountain and from here we'll be going to the ancestral caves it's just a few minutes walk so we won't be tired any longer so stay with us Okay, so at this point, we are at the Deba ground, and the Deba ground also serves as the entrance to the ancestral cave. Uh, we were also told that this place, you can have fun or entertainment when you pay a visit at the ancestral cave. So stay with us as we take you through the ancestral cave. We have Mr. Gordon here with us, who is going to tell us much more about the Ancestral Cave, how the name originated, and other historical things we need to know about the Ancestral Cave. So, Mr. Godwin, over to you now. Okay, one thank you for once again for your coming here once again. And I appreciate about what you people, or the great job that you people have done for the nation, and the community, and the whole Ghana. Um... Your coming here, I think, is not in vain because you are here for a reason. You are here to help the community. So I thank God that you people were able to make it because some people can start the journey, but they cannot finish the journey. So I thank all my team that you people were here today. Uh, the story goes this way. This place that you can see as a the background, this is where we used to come as a Easter Monday or any occasion day that we wanted to come and celebrate over here. So as you can see the environment, the environment is so quiet that everybody wanted to come and have fun over here. So people, when they are celebrating their birthday, they used to come here from all the way from places and come and have fun over here and go back. Okay, the name of the Likpe or the reason why they call this place Likpe is they have, there is a reason why uh, the name came up concerning this uh, Lipe and you can hear if I'm not like I think you will learn something from school concerning about during uh, during Gold Coast War War or Ashanti Wars so as the history go this way they told us that um, our fathers our forefathers live somewhere in the uh, Ashanti region somewhere and it came to a point, a point of time there is a war. But our community or our people don't want to share blood with anybody. So it came to a point of time they started moving from places to places. And then it came to a point of time when they were working, they came to establish at Hohe. That time before our community people would come to Hohe, Hohe people were there before our people came. So it came to uh, knowledge to Hohe people that maybe if our people are uh, established over there and they became and they became how do you call it biggest they will stand there and stand and claim their land so they were thinking where to pass and sack our people from the land so um how do you call it There's, there is a river there called dying i don't know whether you have heard it before there is a river at where called dying that uh, the two of them share that one water so uh, is the how do you call it the water that share uh, uh, be, uh, between our people and the Hohe people. 
because of what the our people were in this side and Hoka people were also on the other side. And then it came to a point of time, they say, when you kill somebody from this trap, you have to replace another, pe uh, another person. So whole people knew what they were doing or they knew what they are coming to do. So one day one of our pregnant women wanted to go and fetch water and she was killed by arrow by whole people over there. So our people were requesting for the another pregnancy woman. But the whole people knew what they are doing, so they don't want to give any pregnancy woman back. So they stood against the stood war against our community. But our community people to say, ah, they were trying to escape from the enemies or from the war. How can they come here and come and war over there? So they choose or they decide that they wanted to move from there to another land. And by fortunately, when they were moving, they came to found a place over here as a cave. The, the place that you people were here today to see as an ancestral cave. So they came to see, uh, to found a place over here. The whole caves are six in numbers but they are all in one uh, place so we'll go one after the other so it came to a point of time when they were here there there is a reason or the what do you call it the every uh, hold or every chamber has its own uh, explanation or the, the whole name that they call the place so we have cave one up to cave six and then when our people were here the name called Likwe, the name called Likwe go this way. When our people were here, Hokwe people were still tracing our people. Maybe it's like they wanted to sack them from their land very far so that they will not come back to Hokwe land again. And when they came during that time, there is no catalyst, there is no weapon that they will use to fight against Hokwe people. So when they came here, if it came to their knowledge to use, like I'm coming, they used as you can see if like we should start sharpening this stone right now it would form another uh, angle or if i wanted to use it for another thing i can i can able to do it with these two stones so our people were using stone to sharp as a weapon for them to fight with uh what do you call it Hohoi people because they don't want them to come and sack them from this place again so the name called Likpe in a way what the name called Likpe or the name of stone in a way is Ekpe or Kpe. So if somebody say, I will throw you stone, I will say, Mada Ekpe. So meaning this stone, this is a stone called in a way we call it Ekpe. So they were using, uh, what do you call it, stones to sharp as a weapon. So when they saw those things, they begin to call us Likpeao. So the name called Likpe is who where people give us that name, Likpiao. Not, we didn't took it by ourselves. It's who where people give us that name, Likpiao, meaning what? Meaning they are using stone to sharp as a weapon. So they call it Likpiao. So the name called Likpe is Likpiao. That's the name of Likpe. But they just shot it, Likpe, Likpe. So this is how come we were able to get this name, Likpe, and or we have this name like Likpe Todome because of the uh, the name Todome is like because of we are under the uh, what do you call it or our ancestors stay with uh, in this uh, cave and before they move to the next town that's why they call Likpe Todome meaning they are they came out of the cave called Li, uh, Likpe Todome okay so um, they stay here they stay here as a community as you can see i think if you can see the environment you can see how this place it will looks during that time so when they were here the caves are so distant to them so they share it in any every category names so we have cave one up to cave six so cave one they call it conference room where for them to have a conference or for them to sit and have a conversation with any other things and then cave two we have a small tower window small window at the top one of them will go and sit at the top over them be sparing and be sparing the environment so when you get there when you are there i think you will see how the place is the person will be there and be sparing the environment 
like as you are standing at a certain point and see how the place is so if anybody is coming you can see the place from the distance or from the distance place so they call that place sparring window that's cave two sparring window and then cave three we call it sleeping room which is underground cave there is a place there we have this small small chair but that, but they are not harmful that's why they used to sleep during that time so by something like underground cave so we call it sleeping room and then cave four is palace where the chief used to live or the chief used to sit in case he wanted to talk with uh, those uh, chief elders uh, and the elders he will call them and they will have a meeting over there that's k4 and then k5 during that time there were still bad people in the community like as it is now so they create a place or they have a place as a prison where for them to cage any uh, notorious boy or any notorious person that will misbehave during that time though we were not told that any enemies have attacked them over here that maybe they have already they have caged any enemies over there but to me or to my knowledge i think is they did it because of the community so that uh, fearing will come to the community so the cave five cave five we have this uh sleeping uh, what do you call it? sorry we have this uh prison and the prison hall where people will sit and be guiding the prisoners so that's cave five and then cave six is a spiral uh, escaping road that place is a road where we 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 walk through this road. We are not coming back to the same road. I think we will come and appear at the back over here. Meaning we are going inside the cave and come back to the top over here. So we are not using the same road and come back with the same road. The only place that you reach and come back with the same road is cave one up to cave three. That place you can still use the same road and come back if you are getting towards to k4 you're coming back i think it's it will be difficult for you to come back to the same road so it's better for you to go all over and come and appear at the top of here. so the cave six we call it escaping road that's the road meanwhile when they were there or they made them mention that place in case of maybe it's like if they were inside the cave and they heard about any enemies or any somebody that they didn't understand Maybe you thought that maybe when you pass here, you come and meet them over there, or you will meet them on the road. No, you will not meet them. They have a place where for them to escape and appear and go away from those people. So KFC is escaping road. I think this is the history concern about this Likpe cave, ancestral cave that we have over here. So we've heard it all from Mr. Godwin as he told us about the ancestral caves. Likewise, we have from cave one to cave six. So stay with us as we take you through the ancestral cave. From cave 1, which served as their conference room, we made our way to cave 2. We are now at cave 2 which they call spying window where one sits to monitor if there is an oncoming enemy.
from cave 2, we moved down to cave 3 where they call the sleeping room. Okay, we have gone to cave 1 and 2, so we are now in cave 3. Cave 3, uh, how do you call it? Sp uh, sleeping place, this is where we are now. So we are getting or we are going inside the cave and go and see where our forefathers used to sleep do during do those days. So stay with us. Okay, so Splash Africa, we are still splashing. As you can see, we had the cave three, which is the sleeping room for our ancestors. I can, I guess, we can all have a full view of it, the sleeping room. Uh, well, um, we heard or you told us that it's a sleeping room for our ancestors but I can see bats around so why are they here? Okay, this bat that you can see some of our olden people used to say we use this bat as a, our forefathers like they live here with them before so when we see them or when we see them it's like they are our ancestors so you can come you touch them they will not harm you. These ones are not harmful. And this one, they are just like normal, but they are not harmful. You can see that the way they see lion, they are flying around. So they are not harmful. You can touch them. It's just that you cannot catch anyone away. So I think this is what we have over here. Okay, so we heard it all from Mr. Godwin. Uh, yes. So the, uh, uh, the bats here are representing our ancestors. Uh, I can also see a different color of sand over here. It doesn't look like the normal sand we see outside. It's different from what we have outside. So can you say something about this? Okay, this one that you can see is something after they eat. It's, this is like toilet to them. That's for them. They vomit 
they are on they don't shit like the way we normally go to toilet so this one is like manure patraza so a lot of people came here or some people in our community will come like those people that have garden around their house they will come and fetch this thing and go and put on the ground so this thing is not any other sun or it's not something it's something like fatras or manure to for your uh, what do you call it food uh, or those kind of things like you are having garden so this thing is not any bad this thing that maybe you cannot touch because that is not like the like the sheet or it's like toilet no this is something like they vomit and after they eat this is what they vomit so this is what we have over here like as you can see so this is something like after they eat this is what we have on them you can see yeah okay so we were actually correct said it wasn't a sun but then it is uh let's say manure or fertilizer there but bring or vomit out after eating which can be used in um planting so from okay so where are we going from here from cave this cave three so I guess Cape Four. Yeah, from here we are going to Cape Four. This is Palace, where the chief used to say. So I think from here we'll move or we'll get out of from the place, this place, and go to the other one. So this one. Okay. Yeah, th this place looks very, very small. So we'd like to know the number of people that sleep here. Okay, it's good that you ask this question because a lot of people have been asking this question. You see, during that time, they don't have anything like bed. Yeah, so, though I cannot tell you how many people that used to sleep here, but if you can check around, you can see that the place is a little bit big. So, I will wonder how many people will sleep here. And during that time, too, you will not find any stone like this. The place is so level inside so you will not find these stones around that maybe they cannot sleep everywhere this place or oh, you can sleep everywhere so that uh, there will be more space i think if this sand has been removed and these stones have been removed inside there will be more space inside that it can contain about some people that may, that i cannot call any quantity or any quality names for you right now how many people used to sleep here during that time okay so we are moving towards the palace now We've gotten to cave four, which is called the palace. 
and i was thinking we'll find maybe some thrones and other stuff but then there's nothing here so mr godwin i like to tell i want you to tell us something about it okay this girl for i think during that time we don't have anything like it so they used to like a seat to them so this is where the chief used to sleep during seats during that time as you can see there is a stone over here that the chief used to sit and the chief others will be seated around him over there so this is the seat that we were, we were told that this is where the chief used to sit during that time thank you okay so we are done with cave four so we are moving to cave five We are now in cave 5 which served as the prison room. So uh, this is the prison and this is prison hall. So people will be here guiding whereby you are inside here sweating seriously. Okay. Moving from the prison room onto the escape route, we passed through cave 6 which they call the escape cave. We are then going through the six ancestral caves. It was a nice experience. I personally fell down. Our own tour guide also fell, but then by the grace of God, uh, no one was wounded. So we thank the Almighty God for bringing this tour into a successful end. Splash Africa, unveiling, hidden, and untold history. See you next time.